So in this next part, we actually want to do the work of expanding this and uh, seeing if we can come up with a formula in terms of n, kind of like what we did in the last video. And in fact, we're going to use those two results that we derived to help us in this process. So let's start out with our statement. So the sum from k equals 1 to n of 2 times 1 plus k over n times 1 over n. And if you look at this, 2 is a constant, and 1 over n is also going to be a constant, and it not changing. That's just the terminal number of our summation. So I can factor that out, and when I do that, I get 2 over n times the sum from uh, k equals 1 to n, 1 plus k over n. And so here I have the sum of two things that are being added together. I could rewrite that as two different sums and add those two sums together. So this will be 2 over n times the sum from k equals 1 to n of 1 plus the sum from k equals 1 to n of k over n. All of that is getting multiplied by 2 over n. Now here again I have an n in the denominator and that n is going to be uh, a constant that I can factor out. So let's write that 2 over n times the sum k equals 1 to n 1 plus 1 over n times the sum k equals 1 to n of k. And so from our last video, we, we see that we can rewrite the sum k equals 1 to n. Uh, we can rewrite that as just n. And this gives us 1 over n times, and the sum from k equals 1 to n of k, that was n times n plus 1 over 2, all of that times 2 over n. And now we've gotten rid of our sums completely. And if we distribute 2 over n, um, here the n's cancel and we're left with 2. Here we have uh, 2 over n squared times n times n plus 1 over 2. The 2's cancel. Um, one of the n's cancel, and we get 2 plus n plus 1 over n. Now, if I want to rewrite this with a common denominator, I could multiply, I could think of 2 as 2 over 1, multiply top and bottom by n. We get 2n plus n plus 1 over n. 2n plus n is 3n, so 3n plus 1 over n, and that's actually what all of this would be equal to. So if you wanted to find what it is when n is equal to 4, now we have a great formula we can just plug in, and that would be um, 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13 over 4. And what's great is we can find uh, solutions like that for n equals any number given this formula.